All right, I'll give you just a few minutes to double check, make sure everything is answered and go ahead and submit. Please make sure you submit by 9.15. Uh, it will close after 9.15, so make sure that you hit the submit button to submit your responses and to get your score. I think all of you should be able to access your score once you've submitted. All right, guys, let me uh, share my screen again. And we're going to have several opportunities this week. Again, with TOEFL, we're going to, this will, this will be our unit three focus for uh, TOEFL practice. So we'll have a couple more opportunities this week uh, to, to look at some TOEFL questions. Today, what I'd like to do for the second part of today's class, let me share my screen again. I'm in Microsoft Teams and going to go under week 12. And there's a file, a Word document called Famous People. I'd like everyone to open up this document on your computer or within Microsoft Teams. And what I'd like to do is I, I want you to think about a, a famous person. This famous person could be living or dead. It could be... Um, basically anyone from Mexico or from around the world, anyone that you admire, that you know something about, that maybe you've followed, maybe you've read about the person, maybe you've watched a movie about this person, maybe this person is part of your uh, family discussions, maybe other people in your family also admire this person. But I want you to think about one famous person. Now we've got 40 of us approximately in this class. So I don't have any problem if you select the same person. All right. But I want you to think about a famous person uh, because this activity that we're going to start today and that we'll finish tomorrow is going to be an interview between you and a partner, you and one other classmate. The first thing I want to do, though, before we get into our partners, is I'd like for each of you to open up this document, and you'll notice that this document, I basically copied and pasted 40 times the following. It says, name, famous person, interviewer, list of four verbs, and a list of four questions. Okay, this is repeated 40 times. So the first thing I would like for us to do is where it says name as a heading one, name here, name here, if you're looking at my screen, I would like for you to add your name. Okay, add your name. And then under your name, I would like for you to add the name of the famous person. Now, it doesn't matter. There's 40 names here. You can add your name anywhere on this list. Right? So if, it, if it's easier to kind of scroll down towards the bottom of the list and add your name, that's fine. Um, just to keep it somewhat organized. But please add your first and last name where it says name, and you can remove the word name. You can replace the word name with your name. So you can delete the word name and just add your first and last name. And then underneath your name, the name of the famous person. This can be a famous person who's living or deceased. It can be any person from around the world, or it can be someone here locally, but someone who is famous, who's known from around the world. Again, you can remove the word name in the list. Yeah, I'll give you... Teacher, where is the document? If you go into Microsoft Teams, if you're looking at my uh, screen, I'm in Files, 
week 12. And the Word document is called Famous People. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. So wherever it says name, you guys can remove the word name. You can just delete it and just put your your name. And just to be consistent, let's put first name first and your last name last. Just to be consistent. Okay, so we've got... And it doesn't matter if the famous person is repeated. It would be nice to have a wide range of famous people, but if you're really if you really like a famous person, you know, make sure you choose somebody that you admire, that maybe you respect or that you just feel strongly about and that you know something about this person. Okay? So try to choose uh, a person, a famous person who that you know something about. Um, the uh, Where it says famous person, you can delete those words and just replace it with the, fam the name of the famous person. Okay, so just like with name, you can remove the word name. There you go. Okay, I got the... Um, Good people here. Leonardo DiCaprio. We've got Michael Jackson. Who else we got? Shakira. Nikki Six. Jackson Wang. Okay, again, you can remove the the word famous person, the phrase famous person. Okay, you can just include the name of the person. There we go. All right, looking good here. Almost finished. A famous person, right? Again, think of somebody. Be somebody local here in Aguascalientes, in some place here local in, in the country of Mexico or anywhere around the world, but a famous person you admire, you respect, you know something about. Maybe you follow this person. You've read about this person, perhaps. Maybe you read about uh, this person in school or on your own. Maybe it's been in your discussions with your family or friends. But a famous person. It's really important that you choose someone that you know something about, that you respect. All right. And for just a few more minutes. Be thinking about this person if you want to look this person up while we wait just a minute or two longer. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Me again. Yes. Uh, I didn't understand what we have to do in the list of four verbs and list of four questions. Ah, okay. Can you explain me again, please? Uh, actually, I haven't explained. Okay, so ah, we we okay. haven't. Yeah, we're gonna take this step by step. But uh, this activity is gonna take today and tomorrow. So I just want to work with you guys, kind of step by step, little by little. Um, so don't worry yet about the list of verbs. I'll explain in a few minutes. Ah, okay. You didn't. You, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> okay. No. All right. No, you're you're okay. Yeah, right now, just your <laughs> names, guys, and the famous person. Uh, let's see, Jacqueline, if you want to remove the word name, please, and also famous person. Okay, just to be consistent, Carlos, as well, if you want to delete the the word name. Okay, so we want your name, like uh, Erica has her name here, and then Michael Jackson. This is what what we want. Okay, Jazz, if you want to remove famous person, please. Now, the next step, the next thing I'd like for us to do, and let's see, I'm going to open this up first. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen and, all right. So, I'm sharing in my screen now a list 
of now it says teams here now what i'd like for you to do is take a look find your name in the team first okay so i'll sc scroll up and down make sure that you can find your team but don't do anything yet don't don't go anywhere don't leave i uh, just find your name please with each team if your name does not appear here, if you cannot find your name, uh, let me know, please. Okay. Everybody have their team? Yes. All right. Now, the, what I'd like for you to do, now some of the teams, all right, some of your teams, there are three members. Some one team, I think the first two teams, or the first team has four members. Now, this activity is only going to involve you and one other classmate. All right, we're going to do an interview. One person is going to be the interviewer. The other person is going to be the interviewee. All right, now the interviewer is the person who's going to ask the questions. All right, so the first thing I would like for you to do, and I'll give you a few minutes, but it's, it's, very, it's very quick. The only thing I'd like for you to do is to go into Microsoft Teams, into your group or your team. All right, so team one, group one, team two, group two, team three, group three. Go in and decide... Who is going to interview who? All right. So, for example, team three, there, there are three team members, right? So, Tanya could interview Adan, Adan could interview Jazz, and Jazz could interview uh, Tanya, for example. Uh, where there's four members, like in team one, maybe just Nancy and uh, Susana can team up and Paulina and, I, and Nataline can team up. You, you decide, but I'd like for you to go into your, your meetings very quickly. This is only going to take maybe, I don't know, two, three minutes. Find, just find out who's going to interview who, and then leave the meeting and you don't have to record it. Just leave the meeting and come back to this meeting and we're going to go back to the Word document. Okay, again, this is only going to take no longer than three or four minutes, just enough to determine as a group who will interview who. All right, so are there any questions about this, this what we're going to do next? No. no. All right, so go ahead and jump into your groups, guys. Again, very quickly, very quickly, and then come back to this class to the Word document. All right, so let's go ahead and begin just the, just to find out who's going to interview who. All right? Teacher, and the interview is all related to the life of that person, right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit more here in a second, but yes, uh, but uh, don't worry about doing anything else other than just finding out who you're going to interview. But yes, okay. okay. All right, guys. Hopefully you're you're back. So you should now know what the next step is going to be. Underneath the name and the famous person on this list, it says interviewer. Remember the interviewer is the person who's going to ask the question. So I would like to f I would like for you to find your partner from this list and add your name replace the word interviewer with your first and last name all right replace the word interviewer underneath your partner's name the person that you're going to interview the person that you're going to ask questions to you're going to be the interviewer find your partner's name and replace the word interviewer with your name, your first and last name. If you're just now joining us, we're back in the Word document. 
find your partner's name and underneath your partner's name where your partner has listed the famous person, replace the word interviewer with your first and last name. First name first, last name last. Go ahead and update the Word document. All right, so we have Andrea. See that you have added your name there. Good with uh, Daira. Go ahead and add your name. Replace the word interviewer with your name. I would prefer first and last names because, for example, Maria, we have a lot of Marias and just want to make sure we're clear on who's working with whom. And if you can keep it with um, the heading, I think it's heading two, the interviewer. Interviewer, all right, should appear underneath the famous person of the partner, of your partner's choice. I'm gonna go back here just to be consistent. We wanna try to keep the styles the same, so your, the name, the interviewee, your names at the top will be heading one, and then the famous person and the interviewer will be heading two. All right, I see we have some names appearing. All right, very good. Hopefully everyone should have Someone should be paired up with someone, okay? Everyone should be paired up with a classmate. All right, and if anyone is watching this recording later on, all right, you'll need to partner up with someone who has, who has not been on this list, right? So if you're watching this recording or you're accessing this or doing this activity, after today, later on. All right, make sure you're adding your name and you're finding a partner. I'll just let you uh, refer to the list. All right, you stick to the team list that I've listed here and try to find a partner and add your names to the list. Yes. Yes. Me and my, my team were made up of three members. I'm going to interview just one of my classmates. That's correct. And and that one is going to interview to another, but each one is going to interview only one person. That's true? That's correct. Yes. Okay. Right. That's yeah. correct. And right. we're, we're going to like write it on the document? Yes. That, uh -huh. That's interviewer. For example, okay. for example, Tanya, who are you going to interview? Who did you choose? Uh, yes. Jazz. Yeah. Okay. So then you add your name underneath Jazz, underneath uh, the famous person that she chose. Uh, oh, okay. For example, if I choose Michael Jackson, under Michael Jackson, I'm going to write Jazz. Well, yeah, I, I, a better, if Jazz, is Jazz going to interview you? No, who is going to no. interview, me, interview me is um, Adan. All right, so, so let me, let me find Jazz here. So, oops. Uh, where are you, Jazz? Okay, so do you see my screen, Tanya? Yes. All right, so you're going to add your name here. You're going to replace the word interviewer with your name. Because you're going to interview, you're going to ask questions to Jazz. Okay. All right, and then yeah. um, let's find you here. See, so a Adan, he's going to ask you questions, so he added his name here correctly, right? He's going to ask you questions. Uh, and that's that's the idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. Yes. And I would like to ask you something new. Um, two one week ago or two week two weeks ago, uh, I didn't 
return the song twisters two song twisters because I have um uh, for personal situations. So I don't know if it's very late like to get them in. Um, so if, if, and this is for, for everyone, if anybody has pending assignments, pending assignments, assignments that you, you haven't done or that you did late and maybe I didn't change the grade, just send me a message in chat. Okay. And I'll take a look at it and yes, you still can do it, right? You, if you haven't done a podcast, you can still do it. So just Try to do it. <laughs> try to, yeah. to do uh, the work. I'm going to try to be flexible here with the assignments. I know there are a lot of assignments, but uh, just uh, send me a chat and, um, yeah, let me know. All right, guys, any other questions about what we're doing here? Um, adding our names to the list? I see. All right. All right, so... The next thing I want us to do now is underneath your name where you're listed as the interviewer. I would like for you to choose four verbs. Find your name as the interviewer. Underneath your name, it says list of four verbs. I'd like for you to choose at this time four different verbs any verbs you want but verbs that will be used to form questions in your interview okay all right so go ahead please and add four verbs and you can just write the bare infinitive what's the bare infinitive well eat sleep Study, walk, talk, balk. All right, go ahead and list four verbs underneath your name as the interviewer. If you're looking at my screen here, for example, Adan, underneath Adan, he can list four verbs that he's going to ask, that he's going to use in his questions to ask Tanya, for example. Four verbs that you would like to include as questions. Go ahead and add four verbs at this time. These are gonna be verbs that you're gonna include as questions in your interview. But right now, we're thinking first just of the verbs. Which verbs would you like to include? Now, let me, as you're thinking about verbs, and you might change your mind here, so uh, let me explain further what we're going to do in this, inter in this interview. Each one of you is going to be an uh, interviewer. You're going to interview your partner, and you're going to ask questions as if the person were the famous person you're going to role play all right so for example let's look at um uh, let's see like monse all right monse chose lily collins all right, so Fernando is going to ask Monse questions. Monse is going to role play. She's going to pretend that she's Lily Collins. All right, she's going to pretend. She's going to uh, role play. And so the questions that Fernanda or the verbs that Fernanda is thinking about, including in the questions, are going to be as if she's interviewing Lily Collins. It's a role play. All right, so this is why it's important for each of you to choose a famous person that you know something about, that you have read about, that you've thought about, 
because you're going to pretend, you're going to role play and pretend that you are this person. And the interview, the interviewer is going to ask questions to this person as if the interviewer is this uh, is asking questions to this famous person. All right. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, teacher. All right. So be thinking about a little, bit. a little bit. If not, let me know if you're not sure. Be choosing verbs, right, that you're going to ask in your interview as if you're going to interview that famous person, all right? This is basically you interviewing a famous person. And your classmate is pretending to be that famous person. So we're not going to ask questions like, why did you choose this famous person? All right? No, because they are the famous person. We're not going to ask questions like, well, what, why do you respect this person? Or what do you, what is her strengths or what, et cetera? No, this, these are questions that are directed to the famous person. Now, this might require the interviewer to do a little bit of research if you don't know a lot about this person. All right, which, which, uh, which uh, that's fine. You might need to do a little reading or go online, maybe in YouTube, find a little bit of background information if you don't know a lot about the person that you're interviewing. All right, so... For tomorrow, we're going to continue this activity. And for tomorrow, I would like for you to, if you need to, do a little bit of research to find a little bit more about the information about this person if you need to. But for tomorrow, I'd like for you to have four verbs that, that you can develop into four questions. Now, tomorrow, I will, I'll give you instructions and time in class to develop the questions. So don't worry about the questions right now. Do not complete the questions. Only the verbs. And if you need to, do a quick search in Wikipedia, YouTube, TED Talk. Just a search on, online if you need to. If you need to find more information about the person, all right, but the, the four verbs are going to be the main verbs in the questions that you develop that we're going to do tomorrow. All right, this is going to be what we're going to do for tomorrow in class. All right, so four verbs for tomorrow and any research that you think you need to do, all right, if you don't know anything about the person, then you're going to benefit before tomorrow, if going online and just finding out a little bit more about the person, all right? Because again, the idea of this activity tomorrow that we're going to do in class, this interview is going to be as if you, the interviewer, is asking questions to this famous person. All right, any questions, guys, so far about what, uh, what, what we're doing in this activity? Not teacher. Not teacher. Yeah. I, if I complete like the activity today, it is in problem. If you leave the activity, uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that again? If I already complete the questions and the verbs, is that a problem with that? I would ask that you wait on the the verbs, because I uh, I haven't explained what how and what kind of <laughs> questions, right? So please don't fill out any questions yet. I, I, and I know we want to kind of go through this quickly, but I want to take it <laughs> step by step, right? So please, no questions yet. Tomorrow in class, I'll give you instructions, right? Tomorrow, before tomorrow, what I would like is if you need to do any background information about the person that you're going to interview, then I would do that. And double check the verbs. Find good verbs that are that later that you can include in your questions and tomorrow okay. in class we'll begin with the questions i'll wait all right yeah any other questions guys no, 
Yes, Did somebody say yes? Hard to hear. All right. Well, I guess then we'll stop there. Yes. Can you give me an example? Sure. An example of what? Uh, like I'm confused about the birds. Like I'm not understanding. Like how am I going to use any like? All right, so let's say that example of one bird. Sure. So let's say that I'm going to interview Michael Jackson. Many of you, I think at least one of you has Michael Jackson down. So I have to interview Michael Jackson. So what kind of questions might I ask Michael Jackson? Right? Um, I could ask, how did you first become a singer on stage with your family? So become would be the verb. Right? So think about questions that you could ask. So Michael Jackson, uh, okay. um, how you. did, um, you know, you can think about some personal background of him. Like how, how did you, who did you work with when you, you know, produced the Thriller album and whatever questions, but just think about questions that you would want to ask that famous person and then what verbs would be, what would be the main verb in that question that you're posing to the, to the uh, famous person, right? And when we start tomorrow's activity, your verb still might change based on the instructions that I'm going to give you tomorrow, but that's fine. Right now, I just want you to begin thinking about some possible verbs at this point that you can include. Does that help? Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think then we'll stop there. I hope you guys have a great day today. And tomorrow we'll continue this activity picking up where we left off. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, teacher. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. See you. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Thanks, teacher. Have a nice day. Bye.